in a violent encounter, simply obtaining elbow control of an aggressor can buy you a moment in time to escape and possibly save your life. I'm Kip T. Sort and welcome to Escaping Violent Encounters. So samurai warriors understood a principle known as elbow control. There's an old martial arts saying that's been around for a long time that says, he who controls the elbow controls the warrior. Now it's not our job to control anyone, but the concept and the principle is still strong. Meaning this, if I can ever get behind a person's elbow, I can buy myself a moment in time to get safe. That moment in time also allows me the moment to recognize am I dealing with a patient or an aggressor. Something like that can save a career. It can save your freedom. It can save your safety. Understanding the difference between a patient and an aggressor can be bought in a moment in time. And that is what something as simple as elbow control will do for us. Let's look at a couple of quick exercises that you and your partner could do to help you build the principle of elbow control. Stand with your partner face to face and all I'd like for you to do is to reach out with your right hand and touch their right and simply pin it to their body and begin to move them across your body as you step out at an angle. The next thing you can do is have your partner sit on the stretcher while you're seated on the bench seat. Try to take and pin their elbow to their body. This shows you how much movement and how you can get to a safe area in that moment in time just simply by pinning a person's elbow to their body. So elbow control, getting to the outside of an elbow is a point of reference that you can use to escape a violent encounter. It buys you that moment in time to recognize, am I dealing with a patient or an aggressor? The escape value in the elbow control cannot be overstated or underestimated. Elbow control, which is a moment in time, is of huge importance when escaping a violent encounter. I'm Kip T. Sort, and remember, your safety comes first.